Hello, Facebook friends. It's Carla, your online doctor, with today's Live in 5. Today is Tuesday, June 11th at 5 p.m. So we started talking yesterday about the microbiome, okay? The total genetic information that you have in your body based on the microorganisms that live inside of you. Hello, Michael. Thanks for watching. Okay, so... We talked about the negative effects of the massive uses of glyphosate or Roundup in our soil. Hey, Pamela, but how does it affect human health? Okay, negative changes in the human bi microbiome can result in emotional, mental, and developmental issues. Several studies have shown the negative effects of glyphosate on the microbiome, leading to complications in organs, including the brain, as well as having a significant influence on a variety of illnesses, such as autoimmune disease, cardiovascular, respiratory, and infectious diseases, mental, sicknesses including Alzheimer's disease and even contributes to metabolic syndrome and obesity. So I'm not talking about something that has a minimal effect on society. We're talking about a major influencer here. Okay. Hey Marty. So how do we connect the gut and the brain? Okay. Your gut flora can affect your mood, your memory, your cognition and more. So people say, well, how? So if your microbiome is not well balanced and it gets inflamed, the gut gets inflamed, then specific reactions in the bacteria themselves and even in the gut wall will result in a release of inflammatory compounds by activating parts of the immune system, okay, which then enter the bloodstream. Okay, and that's when the problem sets in. And then they reach the brain and other organs, resulting in more inflammation. Now, we know that specific brain structures like your hippocampus in your limbic system are partially responsible for your memory, your emotions, and spatial awareness as well. And they suffer very quickly from inflammation um, in the brain. Okay, so these areas are extremely sensitive and will respond negatively when exposed to these type of inflammatory components. Now, what happens to your hippocampus, it actually shrinks, okay, causing memory abilities to decrease and your emotions to really go out of whack. So both low intake of nutrient-dense foods and the high intake of unhealthy foods or processed foods, which is the typical SAD diet, the standard American diet, are each separately associated with a smaller hippocampus in size and volume. Okay, that is frightening. Hey Kim, thanks for watching. So when your hippocampus shrinks, you have all of these problems developing. Again, we're not talking about all those other medical conditions. I'm right now just talking about your brain, okay? But there is good news, okay? You can significantly influence your microbiome and actually regrow parts of your brain like your hippocampus. Okay, who would have known, right? So your lifestyle, consumption of prebiotics and probiotics, as well as a healthy, balanced, whole food diet can reverse the brain con these brain conditions the inflammation in your brain physical exercise can also improve your microbiome and therefore your brain as well okay we're not talking about anything outrageous that you have to do you just have to stop eating junk you have to start eating foods that actually look like um a tomato or a broccoli or a cauliflower you know as opposed to everything processed and mushed together and you getting the crap that's left over because it's cheaper for the company to make right so in functional medicine there is a successful protocol called the four R's remove replace re inoculate and repair the first and the most important is to remove Remove the processed foods and toxins from your diet, from your home, and start using better options. Replace, replace with whole foods, especially leafy green vegetables, especially organic, 
Okay, hey John, thank you for watching. Okay, and then you're re-inoculating, which basically means putting healthier bacteria back in with high quality probiotics, okay? And that will help your gut repair, and by helping your gut repair, you will help your brain heal as well. Okay, so it's like, ah! You know, if a light bulb goes off, I did my job, okay? It's very, very simple. It may not be easy, it may not be something that you choose to do, but if it's something you choose to do, it is very easy to accomplish, okay? Especially in today's day and age. Go to any supermarket, for the most part, you will have organic food there. You have Whole Foods if you shop the periphery. I basically shop mostly only in the produce department, but if you shop the periphery of a supermarket and stay away from all the aisles in between, you're doing what you need to do to make your gut healthy and to make your brain healthy. Hey, Tracy, thank you for watching, honey. So we're going to continue talking more about organic food tomorrow because there's a lot to know about that and we're going to, I'm going to kind of open your eyes a little bit on some of the terminology that goes along with organic. So thank you guys for watching. Share this on your Facebook page with people because I think this is a really important topic that people need to know about. Okay, organic food, glyphosate, Roundup, microbiome these are all like words that everybody needs to be knowing and be making changes okay so thank you guys for watching again and we'll be back tomorrow for another live in five